So we were hoping to do this recipe out on the grill, but uh, the Correct. rain not cooperating. So we're going to do walleye that you could do on the grill. You can also do it in the oven. We're going to do it in foil. So Absolutely. So I love what, that. What we have is we have some nonstick foil, and we were just talking earlier what a great invention this was, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to lay this out. If you don't have nonstick foil, so just a little pan spray on there, because it's walleye has a tendency to stick a little bit. Okay. So we're going to take our walleye. Go ahead. You can put that right down here on the gorgeous, center. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous piece of walleye. Okay. And obviously, when I do demos, I like to have fun. So I'm going to give you one of my cool oh tools. Oh my gosh, this I need is one fun of those. For you. All right, so this is my automatic pepper grinder that okay. I invented. This so what you're going to do is you're going to hold that end. This end, you're going to kind of push this way. And it's going to just, the more pressure you put on it, and the, well, oh, there we go. I never was very good with power tools. Come on. So. There you go. Oh my gosh, I totally need one of these. All right. Wow, that's awesome. I'm going to sell these after the show. So. <laughs> Too All right, funny. There we go. So a little pepper, and then we're going to add some salt. We're going to throw that on, and we have some kosher salt. Okay. All right. Simple seasoning. Now, you could throw thyme. You could throw a lot of other things. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some compound butter to that mm. afterwards. That's going to add all the flavor to this ingredient. So okay. So we're going to have some um, little baby potatoes. We have, uh, they're marbles. So you can get different colors. You can get... Uh, Peruvian purples come in the, you can get a mixture of them. Peruvian purples, uh, reds, and these are little baby Yukons. Now, if, this is, reminds me of the hobo dinner that, you know, I used to do camping. I've done these recipes all the time. Absolutely. So it's like an upscale version of it. Otherwise, if you can't find these little guys, just chunk them up small. You Absolutely. Know, any uh, kind of potato. A little red potato works nice. You could do, even do slices and shingle them on there, make it look like fish scales, sure, whatever you like. Sure, sure. Cool this is fun. Asparagus, Asparagus. instead of the, instead of the, what is in mine? I think right. it's like canned green beans. Yep. This is really you throw them right on top. We're yep. gonna, it's going to add flavor to all tomato. the vegetables. Yep, Again, we have some, some cherry tomatoes, tomatoes yellow, yellow and, and red. Okay. Gorgeous. And then, if, if you wanted to keep it light, you wouldn't have to put any butter on you it. You do but well, olive yeah, oil, maybe? Olive oil would be yep. awesome. Yep. But um, let's, uh, let's, say, let's go for the butter. Yeah, uh, more butter, more butter, <laughs> yeah, as far exactly. as I'm concerned. Exactly. So we'll take and compound butter. All we did is we had some uh, lemon, some lemon zest, and herbs, any of the herbs you like, but there's some thyme, chives, a little bit of cilantro in there. And then you just mix everything together and you make it into a log and you roll it out, cut it as you need it. So you can add it to whatever you like. And Potatoes. it's gorgeous, yeah. yeah. So then all we're gonna do is, is we're gonna fold this up and we're gonna make a little pocket here. And this can go on the grill, on the, you know, and- It can go in the oven. In the yeah, oven. On, you can even do it on a, on a flat top. Uh, in the, on the stove would work too. I love it in the summer because no dishes to wash, it's all Absolutely. right there and it keeps that fish, you know, I love doing fish on the grill but people are worried about it getting sticking and drying right. out. Right, and, and there's there's uh, grill pans out there that you can put on the grill that that can do that as well and then sure. you have a little bit more grill All right, I'll let flavor. you open that what up. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut this like this, I'll just do a little uh, cross mark here. And then we'll just split this open. Oh, it's like a now, present inside. Right. Now, if you wanted, I mean, you could actually put that right on the plate sure. like that. Right. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. He's an American Club chef. We got to make it look pretty. We have to huh? make it pretty. So, just a fish spatula. We'll go wow. underneath. Wow. Real quick, while you're yep. plating, sure. beer celebration of beer coming up. Uh, lots of fun. If you're into beer and you're into good food, there's a ton of stuff going on coming up. Uh, how can people get more information? Uh, you go on the Kohler site, and it's the American Club, and uh, they should have all the information. We're going to have uh, Grilling University this year, which is a little bit different, with uh, James Murray. He's going to be doing some pork items, kind of an interactive thing where you'll be able to grill your own food. Bands, music, oh, beer galore. We have a 5K run. Oh, wow. Beer after, after every mile. So. Oh, my gosh. That's my kind of run too funny. This looks great. Chef Paul's going to stick around and we've got another cocktail recipe. We're making beer garitas next, so stay with us.